now to the auto worker strike with losses climbing into the billions for the big three automakers. The executive chair of Ford is calling for the UAW to reach an agreement. Alex Perez joins us with the latest. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Robin. The strike is now in its fifth week, and the tension between the union auto workers and the automakers shows no point of easing at this point, no signs of easing at this point. Now, the UAW is escalating what it calls its targeted strike against the big three automakers, putting an additional squeeze on Ford, having some 9,000 employees walk off the job at Ford's lucrative Kentucky truck plant last week. In rare public comments, Ford Executive Chair Bill Ford called on the union to reach an agreement and unite to counter the growth of foreign automakers. But the union fired back, saying if Ford wants to be the all-American auto company, they can pay all-American wages and benefits. The auto workers are seeking a 40 percent pay raise, union representation at new electric battery plants, increased benefits, and more. Losses from the ongoing strike are estimated to have now reached a 7 point seven billion dollar cost about 34,000 union auto workers are on strike at more than 40 facilities across the country michael yeah hopefully they get reached an agreement soon alex thank you so much for that hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the abc news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching